Alright folks, today I'd like to talk to you about some tackle that's a really good deal I found online. The website is called Wish, W-I-S-H, Wish.com, and what they are is umbrella rigs. They're only $2 a piece. If you don't know what an umbrella rig is, it's, these consist of five wires that come down where you can tie five lures on at the same time. Uh, mainly known for crappie and striper fish and white bass or whatever. Um, basically it's got five swivels on the end with a big jig head. It's not actually that heavy. It's maybe, this thing only weighs about a quarter ounce at the most. But And, and that's with the wires. It, it's really not as heavy as what it looks like. Uh, normally in a store, these things are about $15. Now these are, these are not the chandelier type. There is a different type of umbrella rig called a chandelier where wires hang down further than the other ones. Especially the one in the center has a, a trailer, uh, one that sticks out way further. These are your basic umbrella rigs, but regardless, these are a very good deal. Alright, the website again, once again, is WISHWISH.com. And they'll have several different uh, sellers on there. They range all the way from like $7 on down. You want to pick the ones that are $2 and you always want to look at the reviews of them, the ship time, which that is one of the downsides of these. They did take about five weeks to get in the mail because they come from Malaysia or somewhere like that. So it is a long wait, but it really beats you going to the store around here and having to pay $15 for one of these things. Have I ever used them? Not really yet. I've cast it around a few times. My thought on these is they probably wouldn't work well in clear water. They would be more apt for stained water and definitely for open water. You don't want to be fishing these in a place that has lots of snags or whatnot because these are, uh, what I did, I ordered 10 of them, but still it's very troublesome to get them just because of the weight. Um, so like I said, it was only $20 for all 10 of them. And, um, what I did, I'll show you guys how I rigged my first one up that I do plan on using. I'm going to use this in a strip pit here in about a week and a half. Uh, old coal mine pit that is, has a lot of crappie in it. And what I did is I just put five uh, your basic marabou jigs on here that are chartreuse. Kind of hung up on each other here, so be patient with me. Um, and like that. And what you want to do after you hook them is obviously you want to spread them out a little bit. You want to pull out on them, just not too hard. Um, another downside I see to these is, and my recommendation is, once you put something on here, don't be switching them a lot. Put something on there that you plan on not taking back off because these swivels, once you open them and close them one time, they're going to become, uh, you're going to, they're going to have their normal wear and tear on them to where. The more you open these things, the the more chance it's likely that you're going to mess them up. Uh, very hard to open, actually. These are very durable swivels. I had to use pliers just to get them open the first time to get these lures on there. So you don't want to be opening and close them all the time. Just put something on there and, and leave it uh, until you do get it hung up. Or um, like these, the reason I chose these is because... If I was using rubber lures, fish can uh, bite the rubber t rubber off of them. These will last longer. Um, and, you know, I just, I just think this will work for crappie. I've never tried it. Like I said, I'm going to try to use them in, in a more of a muddy water and where it's open water. Um, so... Hopefully here in about a week and a half, you'll get to see me actually catch something on them. And like I said, I would it, it's not worth ordering just one. You might as well go all out and, and order at least 10. That way you're good for a year or whatever if you even use them a lot. Um, they do work. I've seen people use them in videos where they actually did work. Uh, they would catch some white bass on them and crappie. And... Uh, one other thing you want to make sure you do is check your local laws because 
many states do not allow more than three hooks on one line uh, so what some people tend to do when that is the case especially on the chandelier type of umbrella rigs is they will put dummy lures on some of the hooks which is uh, lures with no hooks on them and then like three of you know three out of the five will have hooks and the other two won't so if a fish actually hits those two lures you won't hook them but it does attract them over there so that might be an option for you you know if you're fishing private land um, you can use as many hooks as you want nobody can really say anything to you but you do want to make sure you check your local laws because the last thing you want to do is go out there and get a ticket that's five hundred dollars because you broke the law all right that website one more time is wish.com w-i-s-h and like i said make sure you check the uh reviews of that seller check the shipping rate because although some of them only charge two or three dollars a piece for them they might charge shipping i think mine was a dollar a piece for shipping and but they were only a dollar a piece so it ended up being two dollars a piece and you also want to check on where they're coming from because they could be coming from uh vermont which they'll get there within a week or so or they could be coming from asia and what i've seen what i've noticed people do is they'll order them from asia and then they just order them by bulk and then they jack up the price and resell them so you don't want to get them from them people you want to order them directly from asia because you will get a better deal it's just the wait time like i said five weeks for me to get these um, so that is the one downside other than that i think it, it was a really good deal and like I said, watch my upcoming videos and you might see it actually do some promising work. Alright, good talking to you guys. Have a good day and hit that like button and please subscribe.